Now then my friends, boy have I got a treat for you. This is a totally, totally different vlog from what I've done before and I've had a little sneak preview I have to say. Uh, I've been over and had a look because I'm in rural England in a place called Upton where we're going to go to a fish and chip shop with a difference because many years ago it wouldn't have been any different but now it is because this place, Upton Fish and Chip Shop, cooks with a coal-fired stove burner. So they actually, the fryer is powered by coal. I've been and had a look, absolutely amazing. You can see the coal shoveled in from the side. You can actually see the smoke coming from the chimney above. Absolutely fantastic, it really is, unbelievable. Um, there literally is a queue already uh, it, it opens at half past four it only and actually only opens for two days a week it opens on a friday and a saturday and already at half past four when it opens i've been here literally about 20 minutes taking some b-roll and there's people queuing up already it is so so popular and even better they cook in beef dripping which i cannot wait this place is years and years old we'll get into all that and i'll tell you a little bit more information about it once we've rolled the uh, intro if you're new to the channel by the way do hit the subscribe button uh, if you like the content you're going to like the fish and chip shop believe me it's unbelievable it's so great i'm i'm, I'm I'm normally, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this one because you can smell the difference already and I bet you can taste the difference with it being beef dripping and it gets excellent write-ups. If so, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, click the little bell, do all that stuff, hit the thumbs up. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, so before we head over there and get the uh, fish and chips on order, I tell you what, I really am looking forward to this. Um, I don't know who, who it was who told me about this, but I can't believe that I've not come here before. You can smell, I can literally smell the coal-fired uh, fryer there coming through and you can see, I can see it, you can literally see the smoke coming from the chimney, it's fantastic. Um, anyway, it's 74 years old this fish and chip shop is. Originally, uh, there was Mrs. Longdon uh, in there who owned it uh, many years ago. Uh, sadly, I'm told she's no longer with us, um, but it's still running. It's so, so popular. If I don't hurry up and get over there, it's gonna take me ages to get to it. I'm gonna put all their details in the description down below. So it's basically, it's coal, it's coal powered. We, we, we know that. It's also cooked in beef dripping and also all the fish is fresh from Grimsby. So everything is fresh that they actually uh, cook in there. And I'm gonna get curry sauce, I'm gonna get peas. It's, it's got to be good. I mean, literally, this place only opens two days a week, a Friday and a Saturday. They have a website. I'll put their website in the description down below. Come and support these guys because this is a proper rural village in England with a fish and chip shop. And I'm told it is the only coal fired fish and chip shop in the world. So, and I can actually say it for real this time. I can't wait anyway. Come on, onwards. Thank you. 
Right, it's been about a half an hour wait, uh, so uh, I'm told that it is worth it. I mean, there's a massive queue now, it's unbelievable, uh, but definitely worth the wait. I can smell it, unbelievable. I can't wait for this. I am looking forward to this. Hello, right, I'm here. So, you've made it. I've made it nearly an hour. <laughs> there's, there's loads of people out there, it's unbelievable. The this is the ones to be. The, the, the ones to be, be. So, I'm told. Yeah. You're, you're open six hours a week, mm. is it? 4 30 on a Friday, and then how That's many hours it. on a Saturday? Uh, what's your one for 11 o'clock, 11, 12. One, two, three hours. So about six hours a week, yeah. and, and you've got a special batter that's like years yes. and years old. Yes. Right, so I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for a large cod. Uh, cod, you're going to have to wait for then. I, oh, shout, no, I shouted it through, yeah, 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 I shouted it through. So I'm going to have a large cod, chips, uh, rats please, and I'm going to have a, a curry sauce and a mushy peas. Are you having salt and vinegar on these? Lots of salt and vinegar, please. That's all right, that's just how I like them. Got what? Cod chips, peas, and a curry sauce, was that? Yeah. Uh, yes, please. And a, and bit a bit of shandy, shandy as well, please. £4.20, thank you. Right, so I've had uh, cod and chips. It's a large cod, isn't it? I've had a large cod and chips. I've had uh, curry sauce, mushy peas, and a shandy as well. Uh, I've had a shandy as well, and it comes to £12.20. Uh, all in, yes. so uh, that's spot on. There we go. All, all cooked. Oh yeah, there I can't wait for this. Thank you very much. Go and enjoy them. I will do. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank bye. you. Thank bye. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. You come from Carlisle, haven't you? Carlisle. All the way from Carlisle. Just, this is just where did you hear about it? I used to come from France. You come from France? Where have you come from? Yeah. What, come part, what part of France? France. La France. Vive la France. <laughs> For chips. For yeah. fish and yeah. chips. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. That proves what Upton fish shops well, that's is, thick. isn't it? That's, that proves it, doesn't it? Can't yeah. go yeah. anywhere else in the world like these. No, it's the only place in, in the world. Beef. Do it in the beef, world. beef dripping in cold. Where about it, you yeah. from yourself? Uh, I'm from uh, Mansfield. There you go, people coming from all over the world for these fish and chips. I cannot wait. I'm going to sit down on the grass. We're going to take a closer look. Oh man, I can't wait for this. Oh, right, let's take a nice little... Do you know what? There's nowhere nicer than England in the summertime. Rural countryside like this, a rural village. Right, before we start, take a closer look, my friends. Right, okay, so here we go. I can't wait for this. Oh man, unbelievable. The only coal fired. Now we've got cod here, the doo doo haddock as well. It literally took an hour to get served. There's people queuing there and they're coming from all around. Let's get into this fish here. Look at this. And it's a special batter as well. Wow, that is a chunky fish. I'm gonna use my fingers. Oh, it's hot, blimey. Look at that nice chunky bit of cod. Oh man, oh, let's go in for the batter, some more of this batter. Mmm, the cod, really flaky, the batter, it's like a, it's, a, it's strange, it's not like a batter that I've tasted before, it's got like a, it's got its own taste to it, it's very, very strange but beautiful. Oh man! Wow! Oh, right. Let's go in for some chips on here. I've got curry sauce as well. Uh, we've got the peas. Just look at these chips. Wow! Look at that for a chip. Oh, cooked in beef dripping. 
and you can tell. Wow. Oh man. Beautiful. Right. I need to go in for a bit more fish. I'm just trying to get it's so flaky that it's difficult to get it on my fork. It's literally so flaky. Oh look at that. It's <laughs> I've never seen a fish so flaky. Beautiful. Right. Let's go in. I'll tell you what, I'm going to break a bit off here. There we go. Look at that. Mm. Wow. My only thing is that it has got the skin on the bottom of it, which you know. Not overly fussed on the skin being on the bottom of it, but I'm reserving judgment because the taste is phenomenal. The peas, beautiful colour to them. Okay. Wow, they are nice peas. They are nice peas. Oh, Matt, do you know that batter? Is, is, it's weird, it's strange. It's got like a weird taste to it, but beautiful. Right, let's go in for some more chips and pop them in the curry sauce there. Oh! Wow, that's got a got a kick to it. Right, I've got Ben Shaw's bitter shandy as well. I tell you what, the only thing that's that that is odd for me that puts me off a little bit is the skin. However, the fish is just phenomenal. Look at that. Mmm. Right, I'll eat these. I'll come back to you and then we'll mark them out of 10. Wow, it, it's taking me back to the fish and chips that I used to have with my mum and dad years ago. It has got that taste. Mmm, right, I'll eat these and I'll see you guys in a minute. And we want your score marking out of 10 as well. Mm. tell you what I'm really really enjoying these and it's the first time I've actually on a review as far as I know poured the peas out to eat all the peas because the peas were really tasty the curry sauce has got like green bits in it which I'm, I'm not sure what that is so if anybody knows uh, let me know and it's not the cuttings off the trees up there but there's like green bits in it I don't understand that but it's still a lovely curry sauce. My only qualm is, and I really wanted to give this a 10 because it's a beautiful place, is just the skin on the fish, which I can't eat. And it's a shame because the batter is unbelievable. I don't know what's in their batter, but whatever it is, phenomenal. Um, and the chips have just got, you can tell everything's done in beef dripping. And the fish itself was fresh and you can tell it's fresh from Grimsby. It was flaky, it was beautiful fish. Maybe uh, maybe I should have asked them to take the skin off. Maybe they would have took the skin off if I'd have asked them. I just didn't think that they'd have it on, on the cod. Maybe they'd take it off on the haddock, I don't know. If you've been here, let me know whether they take it off on the haddock. But, absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna eat the rest of these. The, I'm gonna say the peas, 
My favourite peas were at the Bearded Sailor in, in Pudsey, but I think these have overtaken them. They're absolutely amazing peas. Um, I'm going to give it a score. I think it's, I think it's an amazing place, and I think places like this, where it literally is probably they say the only one left in the world, and it's a family-run business, tiny little fish and chip shop that's only open six hours a week. Um, I mean, I wanted to give it a ten because it's such a fantastic place and a great experience. It's just the skin. However, I have seen some people in the comment section saying, well, I like the skin on the fish. So it's just a personal preference. Uh, and it's my personal preference that I don't have the skin on. It does deserve a 10 though. I'm going to go 9-9 nine, nine, and I'm going to take a point one off because of the skin. I think that's fair because I think they deserve a 10. I just wish I'd have known because I would have said take the skin off of it. Um, but it, phenomenal. The chips, were, it's just got that taste of when I went back as a child with my mum and dad and the smell and everything. Fantastic. And there's a reason that there's a queue outside every week and there's a reason it took an hour to get served because they cook them to order. They're not left under a heated lamp, nothing like that. I highly recommend the place. If you don't like the skin on the fish, make sure you ask them to take it off. Uh, my fault, Ferrari, look, red Ferrari. Very nice. Wonder when he's going electric. Anyway, that's all from me today. That's Upton Chippy. Give it a try. Come down. You won't be disappointed. Uh, but if you don't like the skin, just tell them you don't want the skin on it. Mm. I kind of want to eat it because the batter's so bloody amazing. It's unbelievable. Right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm. Unreal. I could eat that again. My dad used to say that. I could eat that again. Mmm. Oh, man. You're still there? You can go now, you know. I'm just eating the rest of it. Look at that bit of shandy. Not a shandy like that. We used to have shandy bass when there was a kid. And you used to think you were grown up, didn't you? You'd have shandy bass and you'd be like, I'm having a beer. There's hardly any alcohol in it, but you thought you were grown up. Oh, you can't beat a shandy on a warm day, can you? Oh man, that even that's taking me back to my childhood. Fantastic. Oh. It's, it's that flaky. I've got to even go now. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm. Go on. I think out of all the fish and chips I've, shops I've been to, I think this has been my favourite experience. Seeing the, the coal-fired um, fryer there, seeing the smoke coming from it. Um, I mean, it, it's sitting on, on a nice green here, sun shining down, birds singing, got myself a shandy. The beef dripping, you can, it makes a difference. Everywhere should cook in beef dripping. Uh, a lot of places don't now because of uh, vegans and vegetarians, etc. Um, but for me, it really, it, 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 it's, it's, it just makes that difference. It's unbelievable. Um, oh man, I love it. Come and support them. I'll pop the website in the description down below. What a fantastic little chip shop that is. It's just that skin. But as I say, get a bit, I should have just gone. Can you, I'm going to start asking, is the skin on it? Can you take it off? So uh, I don't want to do that. But I mean, I think 9.9 .9 is fair. Could have been, if you like skin, it'd be a 10. Anyway, come on, I'm off. Got to go. Bye bye.
Look, it's now six o'clock and there's still a queue outside. Absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. <laughs> you can't get rid of me, can you? I'm just filming on my phone now. I'm just nipping to this pub here to have a, a uh, Diet Coke and a quick wee. <laughs> but this village is absolutely amazing. I love it. You, you look at England, if, you, if you're not from England, um, don't just look at London and places like that. This is proper England. Everybody's friendly. Uh, a guy just spoke to me, said, did you enjoy them? I said, yes. Yeah. It's strange that the, 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 the skin's on the fish. He was like, I said, it's on the haddock as well. He said, yeah, it's on the haddock as well. He said, but you probably asked to take it off. I was like, oh, I said, it's great though in there, isn't it? He said, yeah. He said, um, all these other fish and chips, I had to agree with him because I, I do agree with him. He said, all these fish and chip shops are going for all these awards and blah, blah, blah. She didn't bother. She works like two days a week and it's packed out. So that <laughs> doesn't mean anything if you're going for awards, honestly. It's just, I think it's just a great place. It, it, I'm, I'm really chuffed with it. So whoever told me about it, fantastic. I love it. Um, yeah, brilliant. Uh, right, off to the pub now. Rose and Crown. I can imagine walking in actually. Has anyone seen um, Hot Fuzz where they walk in the pub and you're not from round them parts? Go, hey, you're not welcome round here, are you? You're not from round these parts, are you? Are you? <laughs> I can imagine it like that. <laughs> See you later. Ah, oh, shame I didn't get Ange to bring me down. Gotta have a Diet Coke, I'm driving. Oh. Oh, nothing like sitting in a beer garden in England in the summertime after you've had some great fish and chips. Oh. Back again, just had a drink. 10 to seven now. Still loads of people there, look. Absolutely, <laughs> just loads of people. It's absolutely packed. Unbelievable, really popular. <laughs> 